master server as you see the name itself suggests the master so it controls all backup and recovery activities okay master is the brain of entire net backup architecture it will be controlling all the backup and recovering activities everything should be you know everything should happen uh, with with the control of master server media server manages writing and reading of data it it is just a mediator between your master server and your client it will not have any information of what is being written where it is being written nothing it will have it will just act as a mediator and it will help you to take backups from client and pass on the information to your master server okay and this media server has a storage unit attached to it and what what do you mean by storage unit it could be your tape library or it could be your disk we'll be talking about these storage units in coming sessions as well so just a one liner is it will have a, a storage unit where you dump your backup data uh, you know uh, in the back end it could be your tape library or it could be your disk okay so it basically manages the manages the writing and reading of entire data but be careful it does not have any information it is just a dummy server which takes the which helps you in writing and reading your data and passes on the information to master server all the information is stored in master server now where does emm company come into picture enterprise media manager okay basically it manages and allocates resources required for this is a part of net backup master server itself okay it could be in a different server as well we'll be talking about the architecture when i when i show you all this so this this can be into your master server as well but it can or you can also have a dedicated em em server now manages and allocates resources what do you mean by this now uh, i want to take a backup of this laptop and uh, i want i have a net backup server and i have also a tape library attached to it okay so this information of you know what are the tapes that are stored in the tape library okay uh, where is and how much data has been saved on those tapes okay from which point can you uh, dump the data all these information is uh, written on emm server okay it helps you in providing resources okay a, a resource could be your tape or it could be your disk okay so someone should have a information of where the data is written okay and what are the resources that you have so this emm server is going to have all the information is basically going to manage all this so there's something called as emm database when we talk about demons and databases we'll be talking about emm as well clients basically clients is nothing but you know the machines that you want to back up I will show some images to you that will make even more clear. Once again. if you see this the bigger picture what what is the entire intention you know your entire intention is to take backup of a client and dump it to a final destination your final destination could be your you know tape or a disk okay so in between what you are doing you are putting something called as a net backup server which will help you in uh, you know uh, pulling data from client and pushing out to your backend storage okay now this middle net backup 
this net backup server can have master media emm all these three into one okay and this can back up any kind of client a uh, provider you have licenses uh, we'll be talking about all these licenses in coming days so if you have got licenses uh, to back up any of the client you'll be able to back up any type of operating system uh, and dump the entire data onto your tape library now what happens if there are you know thousands of clients what happens if there are thousands of clients in your in, you know, in your environment they could be you know uh, they could be a lot of load on your master server if you want to share that load what will you do you will create additional media server okay what does media server do it will help you in you know uh, reading and writing of data and entire information is again passed on to master server okay so if you can see in this picture there are two media servers one master and emm is configured within the master okay and if you see there is also a tape library attached to second media server okay so you will expand media servers based on the number of clients that you are backing up what is number of clients this could be on a server or any okay the number of, if if there is lot of load on the server and your backup window is extending in that case an architect would decide should i expand my resources what is resources machine or you know if you want to have additional server additional media server so what will you do you will have additional media server in the environment now in this picture if you see there is a different master media server is not part of master server it is separate i know a dedicated media servers you have dedicated media media servers attached uh, to a tape library okay whereas emm is part of master server uh, all these clients are you know all these are backing up thousands of clients from your data center uh, thousands of machines from your data center rather now don't get confused with this uh, the whole idea is your master servers can share a single tape library don't i don't don't get, don't get confused there is no intention of you confusing your guys there are they can you know there are multiple master servers there are multiple media servers they can share a common tape library with you 